now we've seen a couple uh, lists. Let's take a look at how we can actually create some drawings, some output drawings. I'm going to jump over to the shop drawing model, and we'll look at creating that. So again, this is very customizable, and it, it likes to be in a template. Um, what you're going to see is out of the box, but you can customize this to have anything you want. Um, it's kind of a, a two-stage learning process with AS. There's the learning how to model in it, learning how to get output, and then there's an also the drawing styles, learning how to set it up. Very similar to, to Revit. You know, you can start off and learn how to model in Revit and produce documents, and then you can advance farther and, and become somebody who can set up the template and, and work with families and that type of thing. So very similar here. So we're going to go on the Home tab and to the Documents, and we're going to pick on the Drawing Processes. So these are a few different types of uh, predefined template driven. And what we want to do then is we'll want to pick a part to make a shop drawing of. So I'm going to grab one of these gusset plates. And I'll go on to the single parts, and I'll choose the, this has the size of the paper, and SP stands for single part. Each means it's going to put each part on a different page. Again, something fully customizable. So you can go on to single parts, give me a full page. If you had selected multiple pages, or sorry, multiple parts, it would fill up the pages for you. You can choose to put each part on an individual page, really what it wants you, uh, whatever you want it to do. I'm going to run a single one. We can number things differently if we choose, but we can also take defaults, and that's what I'm going to do. And so it's creating that document, and then we access the document from the same document manager that we just were in, and then if we expand these out, you'll see that here it is, and we can say open drawing, and we could take a look. So it placed it in the center of the drawing, and it's kind of on top of this list, but no fear, we can just slide it over and place it wherever we want. You can also open these viewports up and start changing these dimensions if you don't like the way they're laying in. Um, the real trick there, though, is if you don't like the way it lays itself in automatically, you're really going to want to change the template um, because you don't want to have to manually change these all the time. The good news is you can change them, but a better strategy would be to update the template. Maybe we decide that instead of placing this in the center of the page, we want it to place in the upper right corner or upper left corner, one of those things. Um, you'll notice it does have a material or a list here showing me this is plate 1000, P1000, and it shows every assembly, every beam, and every column that it's actually welded to and how many times. So total in the project, there's 104 of those plates. So it actually repoints you back to where you're going to find them. All right, one last drawing we'll take a look at then will be a general arrangement or an erection drawing. So we'll start in this file, and on this one we're going to be on the Home tab, Extended Modeling Panel, and we want the Advanced Tool, to, uh, advanced Steel Tool Palette, <laughs> which was this thing. The trick here is the UCS. So we haven't really talked too much about UCS. It is something that you have to control when you're in Advanced Steel. If you most of the modeling you're going to do is going to be in an XY plane. So if you wanted to take the elevation of this outside edge of the building, you're going to want the XY plane located there and then orientated that way. You have some features where you can rotate the UCS around different axes and get those to be where you need them. So we'll go ahead and make sure that the UCS is where we want it. And then we're going to go to the drawing styles palette here. Let me get rid of this other one. And these are the ones where you can do general arrangement. So maybe we want to do an elevation uh, based off of the line, and that line is the line the UCS is sitting on. So we'll choose that. And by default, it's going to want you to draw a viewport, but let's just give it an automatic viewport, and now it's going to find all the objects on that plane for us. We could also uh, give things names. We can also decide how we want the title blocks to fill themselves in. 
I'm going to say OK. On this one, I'll pick a E size sheet. And again, another thing that's fully customizable, the title blocks to lay them out the way you want them to look. And let's look at that drawing. And so you can see that it has all the different part numbers that were assigned plus the different sizes. And this can be used then for the infield work when they're looking how to lay out the actual parts. So Advanced Steel has these ready to make, uh, ready to use drawing styles that'll help you create those individual parts, the arrangement drawings, with all the different views, whether they're elevations, top views, or isometric views. Uh, these templates again can be customized, and they're really the backbone of this product. And just like the Revit template, it drives the way things look. So spending some time cleaning up and getting the template set is really going to save you some of that time when you uh, are working in your projects.